Hello students, welcome to the first week of our review week. In this week we're going to explore unit 1, which is exploring algebraic and geometric relationships. Now, we do have a lot of stuff to go over, um, but I promise that I'm going to give you the basics and you're responsible for filling in everything else that we have in, that I haven't covered in the videos or in class. Um, so transversal and parallel lines, what I'm going to begin with. Corresponding angles cut by a, probably already guessed it, transversal. Oops. Transversal. Yada, yada, yada. Um, are congruent. And what I mean by that is, let me color code this for you because you know how I'm obsessed with color coding. So this kind of relates back to the example that I had um, where if I asked you if I knew if someone sat in my room, where would they be sitting in Miss Reese's room? The question was, we don't know because they're not parallel. Whereas if we did it, where is someone sitting in my room compared to another one, we could have done it because at the time we had the same seating arrangement. So what that means is that this right here is actually congruent to this one because of the vertical angle theorem. We also know that this one, if this is a transversal right here, the corresponding one to this one top left would be this one right here. So these are congruent. And these are congruent. Very similarly, same idea, this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this. Now how that helps us, let me actually do the same thing over here because some of us like seeing both examples. Um, the cool thing about this is that later when you go back you can actually just use these, these same lines to kind of model what you have. Dun, dun, dun. This to this, and I think this, 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 this. Now again, I'm going through this super, super fast because I'm only going over through the procedure and I expect that you already know most of the concept behind it. So how that helps us. Anything that, <clears throat> let me look at this example first, just this one. Anything that is purple it's going to be congruent or equal to anything that is purple. Right? Now, actually it's true for both of them. You can say the same thing about green. Anything that's green in this side is congruent to anything that's green. I think that makes sense. And that is only true if these two lines are parallel. Now, similar, or I guess contrary to that, anything that is purple plus green it's going to give you 180. So let's say I do this purple plus this green. That is going to give me 180. Or let's say I do this green plus this purple. That's going to give me 180. But if I did this purple with this purple, those are going to be the exact same. So let's go into a couple examples. Um, first thing I like doing, I still do this in my head, is I label everything I know. So purple, 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 purple. I'm assuming these two lines are parallel. And then green, 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 green. Now, what is true about this, if you look at it, this question mark, let's call it X for now because I think you all like calling it X. Um, this is purple and this is purple. So what do I know? That means that X equals 130. And it's that simple. Again, the tip for this one is being able to identify the vertical angles, the corresponding angles, and then kind of filling in the blanks from there. So now to get into a more harder question, let's assume these are parallel. 80 over here, corresponding, and over here, green, vertical angle, corresponding, vertical angle. So now I have an 80, which is a purple, and a question mark, which is a green. Now I, let's pretend like I don't know what the numbers are, but I do know that purple plus green is going to give me 180. Because they're, they're on the same side. Again, we discussed the proof in class, but today I'm just going to get you kind of the procedure behind it. So if I fill in the blanks, my purple in this case was 80. That's an 8, by the way. Plus my green, I don't know what it is, but I know it's x. I'm going to call it x, is equal to 180. 
Now from here, I don't know why my pen isn't working. I can just do minus 180, minus, minus 80, sorry, and then I will get x equals 100. You see how I got that? Again, the trick is to color code everything if you need that, which is completely okay. I do that too. And then go through and see what their relationships are. It's always either going to be congruent or supplementary.